How's it going, Spooky fans? Ryan and Shane here at the world famous Stanley Hotel in Estes Park, Colorado for Warner Brothers' Doctor Sleep, which as you may know, is the sequel to Stephen King's The Shining. In fact, Stephen King conceptualized The Shining in this very haunted building. Lost his mind here. Lost his mind. And we're gonna lose our minds too, I hope. I don't know about you, but I did have an image of what the drive would look like going up and what the hotel would look like as it got closer and closer in the distance. From a distance, it's a little friendlier looking than you would think, but then you get closer and it kind of sprawls and you can sort of understand why it would be so daunting for someone. To kick off the tour, Cody took us to the concert hall, which is this beautiful, ornate, uh, part of the hotel that mm -hmm. the owner Stanley built for his wife. After we kind of explored the concert hall, we went to the basement of the concert hall. Cody took us to this room that's supposedly haunted by a woman named Lucy. She's from the 1970s. Then Cody took us deep into the bowels of the Stanley Hotel. We went to the tunnels. Welcome to the tunnel. When F.O. Stanley began construction, he didn't want to use dynamite because he felt it was too expensive. So he decided to dig into the bedrock of the mountain, which created this tunnel. These rocks do consist of quartz, limestone, mica, and granite. These are all conductors of spiritual energy. This is why the interactive spirits do stay here for long periods of time, because this acts as a massive battery that sustains and that powers a lot of the paranormal activity here. Dan Torrance tried to suppress the shine that he's had. He is approached by a teenage girl by the name of Abra, and she shines almost as brightly, or even more brightly than Danny did when he was a boy. When Danny was younger, he fell victim to the evil of the Overlook Hotel. And since Abra shines even brighter, she attracts evil as well, but instead of the hotel, it's a group of travelers. They call themselves the True Knot, and they are led by a woman named Rose the Hat. Now, what they do is, like quartz, they absorb energy, but they feed on people that have the shine. So the spirits here at our hotel, they're attached here, and kind of the same thing with Stephen King. The story of Danny Torrance has basically stayed with Stephen King for several decades, which he's continuing in his 2013 novel, Doctor Sleep, which has been written, edited, and directed by Mike Flanagan. Mike Flanagan. Then we wandered through the hallways and happened upon room 217. Uh, Stephen King allegedly had some insane lucid dream. Uh, Stephen King woke up in the middle of the night to hearing his son screaming in the hallway. So Stephen King jumps out of bed, he opens the door, tries to walk through it, but he freezes in place. He cannot move because he's paralyzed with fear. And what he saw in front of him was that fire suppression system. The hose came to life and was chasing his son down the hallway. It eventually catches up to him and snatches his kid. It starts wrapping around him, suffocating him like a boa constrictor. The nozzle had these giant sharp brass teeth and just before it completely consumed his son, Stephen King wakes up in a cold sweat about to fall off of the bed. The old gal has some history to her. I love a good tale. She does. It's also just really interesting to see the building that inspired The Shining and Dr. Sleep. We walked around the hotel all weekend. The staircase was quite grand. Uh, we saw the towering hedge maze. <laughs> towering. There was a very good Dr. Sleep scavenger hunt and we arrived at one stop on the location and were thoroughly stumped. Turns out that the scavenger hunt had already moved on because we spent 20 minutes talking to Mike Flanagan. And you know what? If hey. that's the price we paid, happy to. No, I, I love this place and I've, I stayed in 217 once. Yeah. I'm staying in 428, which is the haunted cowboy ghost room. Oh yeah. This is the second time in that room. We're here at the historic Park Theater in Estes Park, Colorado, where we just saw Dr. Sleep. Uh, thank you guys. Thank you guys so much for being out here tonight. When it comes to the continuation of a beloved property like The Shining, you want the director who's helming it to have one of two things. You want him to be good at the craft and you want him to also be a fan of the actual property and he checks both of those boxes. This is a very, very special place in my heart. Um, it is of course for Stephen King fans and for constant readers, it is, you know, Mecca. All in all, great weekend. Go see Dr. Sleep. In theaters, November 8th.